Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I am finally going to be sharing the long awaited and other stories review. So what I'm planning to do in this video is share with you some new pieces that I've purchased and give you a little bit of insight review on them, what I think about the fit, the cut, the quality. I'm also going to share a couple of pieces that I already have in my wardrobe which I can sort of talk more to the longevity of them and how they have worn over an extended period of time. And then finally I'm just going to talk through some other little points on uh, shipping internationally and also the returns process. So hopefully this will be helpful for you if you have been thinking about purchasing from the brand. In addition to that today's video is in partnership with Karma who I have talked about so many times times in the past, formerly known as Shop Tagger. I absolutely love Karma because it acts as your digital shopping assistant and kind of really helps you to get the best deal when it comes to adding those core pieces to your wardrobe. And as you know, I tend to be someone who really sits on my purchases for a while and this is one of the reasons why I love Karma because quite often an item will go out of stock. So once I've added it to my list, I have a 30 day shopping rule which I tend to try and apply to most of my purchases so I'll wait minimum of 30 days before I actually go ahead and add something to my wardrobe it allows me time to sort of mull it over occasionally things that I really like end up going out of stock and by using karma which will alert me when an item comes back in stock it means that I'm not necessarily missing out on those key pieces which I've been wanting to add to my wardrobe I'm going to very quickly run through how karma works for those of you not familiar with it and I will have a link down in the description box below where you can sign up for your own account the first thing that you need to do is add the button to your browser I highly recommend doing this but you can actually also add the karma app to your phone one of the ways that I tend to use Karma is as a little bit of a shopping list. So as I am browsing, I will save or tag items to my Karma list. So there is a little button on the right hand sidebar which you can drag up and down or alternatively it will be in the toolbar menu at the top of your screen. So when you spot an item that you like and you maybe want to refer back to later, you can save it by clicking that bookmarklet and then it will prompt you to select your size, the color, when you would like to be notified. So I typically just do any price drop and then you can add it to a very specific list. So I typically tend to do seasonal lists and sometimes I will do ones for a very specific type of item. Then what happens is you will get an email or a push notification if you have it on your phone, letting you know if that item has decreased in price or if it has gone on sale or if it's gone out of stock and then come back in stock, which is typically one of the ways that I tend to use it, but I also really like knowing when something is on sale, especially if it's a bit more of a spendy item. Probably one of my favorite features is when you are checking out, Karma will automatically scan for coupon codes and apply them to your order so that you can make sure that you are getting the absolute best deal. And this is something I use every single time I am making an order. The coupon code feature is only available via your web browser, so I highly recommend having that Chrome extension. The other thing that you can use Karma for is to earn cash back on your purchases via PayPal with selected retail partners. They have a whole list on their website. Highly recommend having a browse through as it's another way to kind of make the most of your wardrobe budget and really stretch that dollar a little bit further. As mentioned, I will have that link down in the description box below where you can go and download the Karma button and hopefully get a really good deal on your next wardrobe edition. Now let's talk about the and other stories purchases that I have made uh, and I will let you know what I'm planning to keep and what I'm going to return. As I always find shopping is such a tactile experience and it's very difficult or challenging when you're shopping online to kind of get it right every single time. I'm sure that I'm not alone in this and definitely in being a mum and having a very active little one it makes it very challenging trying to get to the shop. So uh, typically I tend to prefer trying things on in the privacy of my own home and it also allows me to be able to try things on with other items in my wardrobe and really ensure that it is going to be a worthwhile addition to my closet. So first thing I want to talk about is a little dress and I have to apologize because I realized when my items arrived that there was a very distinct theme, a lot of black. <laughs> and I don't know if this is just because we're headed into winter here or it is winter here in Australia, but uh, 
clearly I do love a good classic and black is timeless. You really can't go wrong. So the first item that I added to my cart was this very sweet little dress. This is a smock style dress. It has a very loose fit through the body and then it has this really lovely little frill along the hemline and ballooned sleeves with um, a cinched in or elasticated detail at the cuff which is really nice because you can sort of push it up your arm and create a different shape. I really like this because it struck me as being a very easy item to throw on. I tend to require a lot of clothing that is simple and easy to care for and black, especially when you're in that toddler phase with little ones, is kind of a really good option. That or really printed pieces because quite often you're getting very grubby, uh, especially after mealtime. <laughs> uh, so this is made out of a lyocell and polyamide blend. I really like lyocell as a fabric. Uh, it is made from tree pulp and it just has this really sort of a lovely silk like uh, feel to it when worn. Uh, this I got in the size 36 which is sort of the equivalent of an Australian 8 or a US 4 and I would say that actually my preference would be to go up an additional size just to have a little bit of extra room around the body. You will see in the cutaways it looks great but I think for me and the style that I'm really into right now which is much more voluminous shapes uh, I would just prefer a little bit more bagginess. <laughs> it does have pockets which is always such a bonus when it comes to a dress. I love a good dress with pockets really good if you just want to throw your cell phone in there uh, and at the back it does just have this little tie closure. This is one that I will be sending back. The next item I have to admit was a little bit of a fail and I really took a gamble because some of the items on the And Other Stories website they don't have model photos and I do find this a little bit frustrating. I'm sure that it's in part in relation to the pandemic, um, but it does make it hard to visualize what something's gonna look like on. So you kind of have to take a risk if you really like it. And I thought that this little blouse was a cute number. I love the puff sleeves. They didn't feel too voluminous for me, but they just make something really interesting. And while it is black, uh, and I hope you can see on screen, uh, it's quite a dark kind of a <laughs> dreary day today, uh, there is a lot of texture to it. And that really appealed to me because I do dress in monochrome quite often or in tonal looks. And having that addition of texture really helps to make things look visually interesting and uh, stops them from looking flat uh, and that's something that I really try to emphasize in my outfits. Uh, this is a crop style so you would either be wearing it loose maybe with some little shorts or something like that or alternatively tucked into something that is a little bit more high-waisted. I have to admit I sort of found the the fit of this a little bit awkward on me with the crop because it is quite wide across the body uh, and actually the thing that I don't like about this the most is the fabric. The fabric content on this is a polyester cotton and nylon mix. For me the fabric just sort of fell short. It doesn't feel really nice when I touch it and as I said earlier, I mean, I'm such a tactile person when it comes to anything uh, and clothing in particular because it is touching your body all day long. It really has to feel uh, very nice, luxurious, soft for me to want to reach for it and want to wear it. So as sweet as this is, uh, again, it's just not the one for me. Uh, this one I got in the 36 and I would say it definitely fits true to size. Um, one thing I did want to mention about And Other Stories is that I do find the sizing can be a little bit funny and you're going to see this with the uh, shorts that I'm going to talk about next. Um, some things come up a little bit large whereas other things fit small and it's really hard to know which is which and I really wish that they had item measurements on their website because it would make it a lot easier to shop with confidence when it comes to sizing. So next item I wanted to talk about are these gorgeous tailored shorts. Um, these actually come in two colors in a really beautiful sort of soft pearly uh, cream with a bit of a warm undertone to it uh, and also in the black and I don't think you can go wrong with either. I'm actually very tempted to get the other pair but I have a a beautiful pair from uh, Among which have this herringbone design. Uh, you probably will have seen them in my previous videos. 
the and of the story ones are a great alternative as those ones are no longer available um, but these are just a really lovely tailored structured short like they have a lot of structure to them the fabric is quite stiff it's a linen cotton blend and it feels very kind of luxurious it looks really elevated uh, and actually has quite a smart sort of crisp tailored feel to them as well um, I think these would look great with a little matching blazer which I'm sure there probably is one on the end of the story site uh, they have the little pockets on the back just going to turn the lighting down a little bit hopefully you can see me better now uh, so these ones I got in the 34 and I have found from when shopping on their sister website our uh, kit that 34 actually tends to fit me really well from them and I think it's just because I do have a slightly smaller waist so do keep that in mind uh, maybe I will leave the waist measurement for these shorts down below in case you have your eye on them to help you with your own uh, sizing if you have been looking for something like this uh, as I think they're a beautiful option these ones I will definitely be keeping because I love the way that they look um, and I think they will be a great addition to my spring summer wardrobe because I found from last spring summer that shorts were something I lived in constantly uh, and will really get a lot of wear from me but yeah really really beautiful piece and I think that there are so many different ways that you could style something like this up. The final clothing purchase that I bought as part of this order were a pair of jeans and I've been wanting to try and the story's denim for a really long time and so I figured I would go with the keeper cut cropped and I'm not sure exactly what color these are I will make sure that I put which color I got down in the description box below but these are 100% organic cotton so that really appealed to me I really love jeans that are made from 100% cotton I think it might be because they have a slightly vintage feel to them these ones I got in the 25 and I think they might be just a smidge small um, I'm sort of in between a 25 and a 26 so it really depends on the brand in terms of what size I I go for but I thought because these were a straighter leg that the smaller size might be okay they've got zero gift to them so I recommend getting your usual size uh, if you're in between go with the larger of the two um, they are a crop jean but on me you will see I do have a petite length inseam and they are definitely not cropped so if I were to keep these I would actually need to go and get them tailored um, the rise on them is a mid rise it's not quite a high rise um, and actually I did try on my Arquette jeans which I have which are a true crop jean and I prefer them over these both the wash and also the fit they feel like they come a little bit higher in the rise than these ones do uh, and I liked the fact that I didn't have to get them tailored makes things a lot easier I will link the Arquette ones that I have down below they're a bit more of a deeply saturated blue um, but yeah, they've got the, bu the button fly. Um, I have to say overall though, the quality of these is just beautiful. They are really nice, um, kind of a slightly stiff denim, they, but they feel soft at the same time. Uh, I think they look really great on as well. And if I had, you know, if they were slightly more cropped on me, I probably wouldn't be able to resist uh, keeping them and adding them to my wardrobe. I think the price of them is really good too. And there are loads of washes and also a big thumbs up for them being organic cotton. Last thing that I purchased were a pair of sunglasses and they are these almost sort of angular cat eye sunglasses. Um, I absolutely love these. Um, I have to admit I find it really challenging to come across sunglasses which suit my face shape because it is long and then I have quite a lot of angles um, so I've got really sharp sort of uh, defined features and also a bit of a pointy chin so uh, a lot of sunglasses just look ridiculous on me whereas these ones I put them on and I immediately felt great so I have been thinking about getting another pair uh, just in a different color um, I think you know the sunglasses they're pretty standard uh, they do the job so and they, I wore these recently on a little holiday we did and wore them every day and they were absolutely fab the other two items that I've got which I have had in my wardrobe for a while I've washed them and everything that I can talk about are two pieces of knitwear perfect if you're in the southern hemisphere like me the first one that I want to talk about is a super duper oversized knit in this lovely sort of light brownie oatmeal fawn color this I got in the size small and it is incredibly large I actually didn't love it when I first got it and then I found myself wearing it loads because of how comfortable and slouchy it was. It was perfect for postpartum. This actually is a uh, synthetic and wool blend if memory serves me. Um, and I didn't, I mean, I don't love the fact that it's got the synthetic blended into it, but I actually find, yeah, so it's 73% wool, 
27% polyamide. Uh, but actually, I think that it's it's helped it to not be scratchy or anything against my skin. Um, it has peeled a little bit on the front, but it washes really well, hasn't shrunk or anything. I just put my, uh, my knits in the washing machine on either a hand wash or a wool setting, um, and I will always wash them at 30 degrees, no hotter. Uh, but yeah, I, I've actually really come to love this and it's something that I see myself reaching for over and over because it is such a basic and when knits like this bubble up they're very easy to care for and maintain you just need either a wool comb or a fabric shaver I'll link both of those down below if you're not sure what I'm talking about but it's been a great purchase and I'm really happy with that and then the other one, which I actually think this is hands down the best purchase I've ever made from, from Out of the Stories. It is this 100% wool sweater. Uh, it's a cardigan, sorry. And this one I got in a size small. Again, another sort of an oversized feel. I wore this loads almost every single day last year in the autumn time. And I think also in the winter. I really like the wide trim here along the edge and also the big oversized buttons. I believe this also came in a creamy color, which is also very difficult to resist. Um, but being 100% being wool, I thought this might be scratchy, but it is not at all. Again, this is washed really well. Uh, I did wash it recently, actually. Um, I do think there's a little bit of bobbling on it. It is one that maybe every sort of three to four wears, I would have to run the fabric shaver over it or uh, a wool comb, but that doesn't bother me. I think that's just part and parcel of wearing some natural fibers. They do need regular maintenance and care. I almost forgot one of my favorite purchases <laughs> from out of the stories, which is this oversized wool blazer. They do this in loads of different colors and it is just such a great jacket. It's really heavyweight. It's also lined on the inside. So that just kind of adds to the luxury of it because it is a slightly more expensive item. Um, and I just think that this is such a great little finishing touch to an outfit does come up very oversized though. Um, I've got the 34. I think the 36 would have been way too big for me. Um, so yeah, oversized wool blazer, really recommend. And I believe their coats are meant to be fab too. Um, as I was trying to say before, I have purchased some other things from and other stories and I tend to go more for their natural fiber pieces. That is my preference. Their cotton, both the soft cotton and also the cotton poplin are lovely as are their 100% linen items. For me, it's more just about the cut and also the sizing, which can be a little bit tricky to navigate. And uh, I think it's one of the things that does sometimes make me a bit hesitant to purchase. If it's something that is an oversized fit or a relaxed fit or a knitwear piece, I usually feel more confident because the returns costs are quite high. They're either 25 or 35 US dollars. So it's a huge chunk uh, and it really does make me think twice when I'm placing an order. But as mentioned, I have found the quality to be really good. Uh, also, shipping is incredibly fast. It takes less than a week to get here from the Netherlands, which is fantastic. So I usually know that there's going to be a speedy turnaround from when I place my order. So that is my and other stories try on review. I hope that you enjoyed this. If you have any other questions about anything that I talked about today, please let me know. Everything that I featured will be linked down in the description box below. And as I mentioned earlier, if you haven't tried out Karma, I highly recommend that you add the extension to your browser or at least download the app for your phone. I will have that link in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching, for spending some of your day with me, and I will see you next time with a brand new one. See you soon. Bye.